Hi guys and welcome to episode 11 of the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns La Liga BBVA. This team is looking sweet. Last game we did get a very nice addition of Di Maria into the team. Thiago, Gabby, uh, Griezmann, a new goalkeeper, Martinez and uh, the team's looking very solid. I am enjoying it. I don't really want to take a keyser out either until I've got Sergio Ramos in there. So that might be something we do further down the line. Also guys, if you have any ultimate team coins, go and check out battlelay.com and use discount code Called Bateson to get 5% off your coins. And uh, if you want any MSP or PSN codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. Also, so the team we come against in the first game is a very weird looking team with Zola, uh, Inzaghi, and Vieri up front, but not very, well, it wasn't in full chem, was it? Uh, and we do manage to start off quite nice got lucky jesse rodriguez bursting through and a very 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 nice chip to beat the goalkeeper on his line now they're the type of chips i like doing but very rare that i managed to pull them off so it's nice to actually pull it off in this wager series also guys you can try and hit over 3,000 likes for this episode that'd be absolutely insane as well continue supports absolutely uh, awesome especially as it's only a road to glory but i just like the whole concept of it yeah uh, like the tension in the games is ridiculous but i could never put it on youtube some of the stuff I do say so somehow we managed to chip the goalkeeper there to make it 3-0 nice chip over and um, Jesse Rodriguez showing why he's so clinical in front of goal now this game turned on its head in this in a moment like if you see he manages to do the uh, chip through ball and straight to an attacker who puts it away to make it 3-1 on the 30th minute I thought it was going to be plain sail in this game but it turned very very sour uh, before half time as well he manages to uh, beat my defender some terrible defending there whips it in and obviously Vieri is not going to miss as I know how dangerous he is in the air so moving on into the second half now and some absolutely shocking defending from me again brilliant goalkeeping though but shocking defending from me does it gift him another opportunity to whip the ball in and you know what he's not going to miss with another header is it nope 3-3 absolutely fucked up our lead and in the, in the 70th minute going towards it now he whips it in again and the guy's there to whip it it was generally like playing against jesse but we can't complain anyone everyone plays to win and obviously i just gifted him a chance here to uh give him the victory just passed it out to him and first time shot bang five three game over in the 73rd minute obviously i had an absolute shocker probably the worst game i played in a long time his keeper had a shocker as well and we do manage to uh pull one back back but it was too little too late and uh, obviously Griezmann humping the goalkeeper isn't going to make a change to the scoreline. So, a 5-4 loss. Uh, same as last episode, actually. We did lose a game in the last episode. And unfortunately, we do downgrade to a rare, uh, a rare silver. Which is good, really, because we did have... Um, an inform there which gives us one step down so Juan Fran enters the team but I am going to go be going for Adriano again because I want to start bolstering this defence now Adriano is not a bad player um, I'm unsure who to go for for the final episode uh, well for the final upgrade of the left back you guys will have to let me know uh, would you rather see Alba or Marcelo let me know in the comment section below now the team we come up against now is very dangerous looking if you look at the player I absolutely mourn about it is Daniel Sturridge William and Navas and also the centre back of uh, David Luiz and this game was AIDS a very very nice goal by him though lobbing the keeper um, I didn't even think he would go for it but he went for it and Rooney does give him a lead but the game was not done obviously uh, when you've got Suzetta running through he's going to cause some trouble and a nice rebound volley does bring it back to 1-1 on the 26th minute now I'm really impressed with how uh, how much I've adapted to the wager style of things here uh, I've managed to pull it back play to win and even the formation 4-2-3-1 seems to be working for me a lot uh, i generally didn't think it would but it has done now suzetta and rodriguez seems like an awesome partnership they've caused a lot of trouble and got me a lot of goals if you see there suzetta whipping him and gabby's there to get his head in it as well so this wage match was only valued at 5k uh, anyway um and the game is basically finished off here a nice chip ball does completely fail, but his defending is worse than mine and uh, he just can't clear his lines and a brilliant shot from tiago bounces out to uh, I think it was was it Gabby I think I'm not 100% sure bounce out to Gabby who puts it in but obviously the uh, kickoff well it's not even a glitch is it it's just a kick kickoff uh, 
kickoff thing does bounce straight to uh, my keeper who punches it out and on the rebound he does make it 4-2 in the 54th minute but that was how the game did finish we did dominate the stats and walk away with a victory that was the main um the main aspect of the game and we do manage to get ourselves and Adriano into the team so with that upgrade of Adriano I'm also going to finish this episode off on a big wager and it is for Sergio Ramos who is valued at 30,000 coins now hopefully uh, in the next episode if you guys let want to see some players in a team let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and do them as well so so far we played 20 uh, 31 games 26 wins five losses and hopefully it will go on a big streak now and hopefully get the team finished ASAP and uh, hopefully get some cheap bargains so the final game of today is for 30k and he rocks up with a team like this now a lot of people have been asking on Twitter and stuff and they just don't understand the wager series like why they're asking why am i doing so low value wages when i got loads of coins now i could easily go and buy a team i wanted to but i like the way that i wager to them and own them and play with them now with a chemistry style chemistry uh, with a team you had like that with low chemistry him taking the lead was embarrassing and i thought this game was going to be absolutely shocking but jesse rodriguez linking up with suzetta again does bring it back to uh 1-1 one, one on 11 minutes now guys also when I do tweet out asking for the wages I do ask for people to um, to have like so many gold so many silvers etc now a lot of people just bang random players in there now if you haven't got a hybrid team and you're using a league team I would advise you to not put a random player in there I would advise you to go and get a low rated version for certain positions because I use it to my advantage now the reason I use this to my advantage is so that I can play against someone who hasn't got a team ready and uh, that's one of the joys of playing in this game as you can see there I did manage to uh, win and Sergio Ramos is in the team for the final game of this episode so that is um, three games played one loss two won also guys if you could leave a like rating that'd be awesome subscribe for more awesome fifa 14 content like comment and subscribe about what i've been asking previously check out battle a for your ultimate team coins and use discount code Bateson to get five percent off check out g2a to get your msp and your uh, psn codes as well and until 9 30 tomorrow night guys have a very nice day and i'll see you again then